हेलो ऑल वेलकम यू टू दीवर सड्डा प्लेटफॉर्म सो गई वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द यू जी सी नेट डिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एवरी डे फ्री लाइव सेशन एज पर द रेगुलर फ्री लाइव सेशन फाइव पी एम विल बी देर सो नव ऑनवर्ड फाइव पी एम विल बी अ रेगुलर लाइव सेशन इट इज गोइंग टू बी देर हियर यू कैन सी टॉप थर्टी प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ पेपर वन यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन विच आर रिसेंट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व so that latest trend of the question you will be able to understand and latest questions will be having a proper explanation uh, once we understand that one we can expect the how the questions are coming and what is the trend and which areas they are touching everything will get to understand very good evening first of all please subscribe if you are first time over here and do join in our telegram and other social media platform and do not forget to join in uh, my achieve us at all learning app which is the newly launched yesterday you can join into uh, the learning app by downloading the uh, app from the link given in the description or in the comment section it is available you can just go with the link and uh, download it the course is going to start the arjuna batch as we announced for the ugc net jrf december 2023 equally useful for the ts kset and uh, gset and west bengal set examination paper 1 and commerce combo course will be there which is a full revision of the paper 1 and paper 2 commerce topic wise previous year questions of the paper 1 june 2023 all 24 shifts december 2022 all 18 shifts of previous year question will be discussed and here paper 1 complete crash course will be there full revision and topic wise presentation of the explanation will be there if you want only paper 1 you can adopt only paper 1 from arjuna Ajna paper one. If you want only the paper two, you can adopt only commerce paper uh, two also. So there is no problem in that. If you want a both, then you will get at a combo. So daily morning at nine a.m. will be commerce and daily evening seven p.m. will be a paper one. Every unit with a sufficient previous year question explanation will be there, and every unit revision with a chart wise presentation is going to be there. Right, guys? And uh, as I announced, daily one DI and ten uh, MR questions will be solved. Dedicated doubt clearing session, ten to fifteen every day practice question on ongoing topic. Everything is going to be there. And moreover, tomorrow onwards, the poll and leaderboard live class is going to be there here in the YouTube as well as there also. Here the compiled courses you can just see paper one and commerce after using the Arjuna code with the original price seven thousand will come down to forty five hundred only four thousand five hundred. Paper one and paper two commerce both combo will be there, and paper one exclusively Arjuna one two thousand five hundred, and only paper two two thousand five hundred Arjuna code. Arjuna two is the code for paper two commerce only, and paper one only Arjuna one and paper one and two both, which is Arjuna you need to use the code where you will get a discounted price of four thousand five hundred. Right? Let's get started with the question number one. Here it is. First of all, I am not going to start the DA. Let's go with the questions first. Question number one. Do hit a like button, guys. First, if the mobile number of your friend changes, you often continue continue to dial his former number. Means a previous number. Former in the sense previous number. it is an example of positive transfer of learning negative transfer of learning zero transfer of learning bilateral transfer of learning which one it will be if the mobile number of your friend changes very good evening is it live on app today no 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 not now tomorrow tomorrow onwards today there is a friday na no? that's why my sentiment so positive transfer negative transfer and zero transfer bilateral transfer of learning so what answer will be your friend changed the number mobile number and you are trying with the chain number only which is previous number only you are trying so it's an example of what answer is that two negative transfer of learning you know that the number is changed and still you are trying with the old number means what sense you are making it so that is a negative transfer of learning 
it occurs when a prior knowledge or a skills hinder the learning or a performance of a new task hinder or learning the performance of a new task actually you have to dial to the new number but you are dialing to the old number so that means you are stopping the previous knowledge what you are having you are not applying that one you are going against to those and positive transfer is nothing but whatever the pre, uh, prior knowledge or the previous knowledge is there if you are implementing properly that will be a positive transfer and zero transfer is nothing but the prior learning is not going to impact on the current performance that is zero transfer what is bilateral learning transfer of skills and knowledge between two closely related tasks so when we are doing the multiple task at a time so the knowledge the skill we are using on two tasks but the only single knowledge we are applying like i am applying a single knowledge of paper one i am applying for the ugc net k set g set wb set ts set and all the other states same knowledge but tasks are multiple tasks they are the bilingual explanation here only the english explanation so that's why simple positive transfer is nothing but prior knowledge effectively using in the current performance prior knowledge if it is not effectively using or going opposite to the current performance is negative zero means when prior knowledge is not even linked to the current performance that is zero transfer next question which are the following are so related that they cannot both be false although they can both be true the so, uh, square of opposition question square of opposition question You can download the app Pallavi if you want to join me in, in my course. Please share with your friends, guys. Please share the videos with your friends. Now your support is indeed and your support is much and much required now. Okay. Here they cannot both be false, but both can be true. The question here is that option C, option C, A and D, that is sum and uh, sum, which means both cannot be false is between two particulars. This is nothing but subcontrary, subcontrary, where both cannot be false. If this is false, this must be true. Or this must be a true or false. We cannot say. But if this is true, this can be possibly true. But if this is false, we cannot determine the other position. That's what are uh, there with a sub uh, sub contrary. Sub contrary. Contrary means opposite to this. Between A and uh, E will be there. Contrary. A and E. Where both cannot be true together, but can be false together. That is contrary. Here both cannot be false together, but can be true together. That is subcontrary, subcontrary, which is A and D, A and D. All right. So here, true and uh, true false and false true. Some professors are spiritualistic, which is some professors are not spiritualistic. This is true. If this is true, this is undetermined. But if this undetermined, there is a chance of true also so both can be true together but both cannot be false together next how to join madam download the learning app which i given in the comment section and or in the description go to the courses register and go to the courses you can select arjuna paper one course arjuna combo course will be there arjuna paper one will be there arjuna paper to commerce will be there Incorrect expansion of the word. Incorrect expansion of the word. Yes, Ganesh, it will be regular, it will be regular, it will be regular. But if you people boost me like anything in, in respect of the views by sharing in all the platforms wherever you are having a contacts now, then I will get more and more motivated to do. Because if you are 
boosting like that automatic motivation will be there which is the incorrect matching they are asking incorrect matching so answer is that one option a cmos consistent metal oxide semiconductor is a wrong one remaining dynamic random access memory yes correct and there is a static random access memory will be there sram and dram two types of ram micr magnetic ink character recognition of the reader both are one and the same very large scale integration which we will be using in uh, we were using in fourth generation computers fourth generation if it is ultra large scale that is fifth generation correct so here actually incorrect is that cmos CMOM, uh, uh, CMOS actual uh, is that complementary metal oxide semiconductor. Here consistency is written which is wrong. Which of the following are the features of narrow casting? Narrow casting I explained very clearly in the plus class. Narrow casting. What do you mean by narrow casting? Thank you. Large area of speech, narrow, narrow means restricted, narrow means small, which is restricted gathering, intra in nature, intra. Peak reception, limited reach in terms of geographical area, noise free, appropriate for specialized media, chances. So answer is that here you can look at, answer is 4, CDE, CDE, narrow costing, large area will not be covered because this is a broad costing sir, broad costing not narrow costing. Okay, and weak reception wrong. Why it is weak? Weak reception is related to same broadcasting because in TV channels many programs will come, but every program is being received by the receiver may not. Something we are interested, some things we are not interested. So that's a weak reception possible in broadcasting. But in narrow casting, very high reception will be there. Now you all are here in this class. I am doing actually a broadcasting where every anybody can join into this YouTube live. But only you people who paid for the subscription, if they are able to join into the my app course, means that is narrow casting. Only those who are interested, they are they paid for it and they'll join for it. That is narrow casting. Limited reach in terms of geographical area and noise free, no disturbance will be there because that is restricted members. Appropriate for specialized media like a courses, online courses, whatever it may be. Okay, these are for narrow costing, these are for broad costing BC. This is for NC. Next. If the statement some professors are spiritualist is true, that is, I statement in last but one question already they given. If this is true, then which one will be immediately be false? immediately be false yes youtube is broadcasting my app paid course is narrow casting super many students are there in class then somebody uh, or don't have interest while in classroom learning. Ah, that could be a broadcasting, narrow casting differentiation you are trying to give. Okay. Some professors are spiritualist is given true. Which of the following will be immediately be inferred as a false? So that is, answer is 4. Why? Answer is E. See, these are contradictory, contradictory, A and O are contradictory and I as well as E are contradictory. If this is true, this will be false. If this is false, this will be true. Like that, 
in AO also. So here yeah, this is an I situation. Sum means particular, particular affirmative for that universal negative must be there which is an option number 4. Absolutely. Superb. E and I contradictory. Excellent. You can understand in three perspective. This is contradictory, sir. And madam, this is subalternation. Subalternation, which is truth downwards, false upward. Okay. Or doubtful. Upward is doubtful. This is subalternation, which is A and I relation. And uh, I and uh, O relation is subcontrary. A and E relation is contrary. And this is actually contradictory, which is opposite to each other. There are six persons in room. There are six persons in room. Total six members. A, B, C, D, E, F. A and E are the brothers. Okay. B and D are the daughters of the brothers of C's father. C's father okay c's father and c's father brother okay daughters of this brother okay who and who b and d are the daughters of this brother okay now f is the sister of e f is the sister of e okay and C is the only son of A's uncle. C is the only son of A's uncle. Hmm. Interesting question. How many male and how many female members they are asking? Nice. How many male and how many female members? Acha. We are trying to make uh, entire one, but uh, finally they are asking only the male and female members. Bus. F is the sister, sir. And here two daughters are there already. B and D are the daughters. F, B, D. How many female members are there? Total three. And in the remaining, one is a father and one is a father's brother. Already two members gone. Only one fellow is there. That too, they told that uncle. C is the only son. Only son means he is also male. So without following the relation also, we will get that F, B, D are the females. And A, C, E are the males. Correct now. A and C are the, A, C, E are the ma uh, males. Because two daughters B and D. E is, F is the sister of E. Okay. A, C, E are the males and F, B, D are the females. That's it. Next. Which of the following statements are logically equivalent? Some professors are spiritualist. Are are on single statement how many types of question they are asking? I was waiting for the poll. Ah, madam, wait, wait. Tomorrow onwards it will come. You don't worry. It will come, it will come tomorrow onwards. Simple one square of opposition concept, guys. Simple one concept of square of opposition. Look at how many questions frame. Three questions in, we didn't even complete 10 questions. Three questions were there. This is the third question. Then if you are going to listen to the entire class, then only join into the live session. If you wanted to go in the middle, I request you don't join. Go with the recording of the session because i don't want to waste your time and waste your energy by coming and going coming and going coming and going we are not playing a child game here okay some professors are spiritualist equivalent statement they are asking so this is a i statement i statement will be ulta converse we can have we can have it some uh, spiritualists are professor. Yes. Whether subject will become predicate or predicate will become subject, some will be some only. That is correct equivalent meaning. If you say some spiritualists are professor or some professors are spiritualists, both are one and the same. Second is that 
some non spiritualists are not non non and uh, non cancer again some spiritualists are not pro not non professor so not and non cancer here non spiritualists they stated so which will give you the almost uh, similar mean actually it will not give the similar because here one not will be existed this non and non gets cancelled then remaining will be sp some spiritualist are not professors will come so this cannot be an answer and no spiritualist or professor obviously this cannot be because a never be i never be inferred as e i never be inferred as a b d because from some we cannot go to the all this is about all or none from some we can get only some either some not or some only some professors are not non not and non cancel so this is also same meaning so first one and last one a and d option b next coding is a crucial stage in the process of doing a content analysis Coding is a crucial stage in the process of doing content analysis. A coding schedule includes all the dimensions that would be employed in the coding process and indications of the guidance for the coders. Which statement will be correct? Answer is three guys. Uh, both uh, first statement is true, second statement is false. This is correct, this is wrong. Let us try to understand and break down the statement first. Coding is crucial in the stage of doing content analysis. Actually, this is one of the research methodology analytic tool. Content analysis, factor analysis, all these comes under the data analysis stage. So, in that tabulating coding formatting all these situations will be there stages coding is a stage in which the, uh, we need to do the content analysis because as per the content we need to allocate the coding properly and it will include all the dimensions would be employed in the coding process and indicators of the guidance for the coders here it will be for data coding it will list the dimension for data coding but it will be typically providing separately a coding manual to ensure accurate and consistent application of the code so it will not be providing any type of coding uh, indicators indications for the coders because it will provide you the it will list down the dimensions but it will not provide you any type of indicators it will provide you all the dimensions which you need to consider for the coder but it will not be giving an indicators for the guidance the second part will be wrong coding process and indicators is wrong Till here it is correct. That is why entire statement went wrong. Different question. Such a different question. Generally in case of qualitative data, we will be qualitative data when we are converting into quantifiable one, we will be using this content analysis or consistent analysis and doing an interpretation. From qualitative to quantitative, we will be using this tool. How to download the app in iPhone? Sorry, madam. Uh, as I'm a, I'm a beginner, iPhone so both jada investment I use my so that's why iPhone version is not available. But for iPhone version, I will be providing you the web application where you have to download the exe file to install that. I'll try to work it out. If the course are going to successful, then I can provide you. As of now, no, or else I will provide you the website to go with it. Only for iPhone users.
so when researcher use design call uh, design that call for multiple groups that most commonly employed testes z test t test for difference of means pair t test and f test which one will be correct the answer is that option 4 f test f test is a correct answer f test is a correct answer when researcher work with a designs involving multiple groups commonly use is a f test particularly in the context of anova in the context of anova which assesses if there are significant difference among the means of the three or more groups between three or more groups if any significant difference is there to analyze those significant difference we will be using this f test generally and z test is when known population is there and the standard deviation is also known and your large sample which is more than 30 size generally more than 30 size and here between the two independent group we will be using a t test pair test is nothing but dependent group dependent group will be doing a pair t test thank you full moon which of the following statement a to c a b c are correct about the cyber attacks regarding the cyber attacks it's a type of hacking Spyware prevents access to your website. Virus is self-replicating malicious code on a computer. Denial of service (DOS) most important guys. Denial of service captures all data entered in uh, using a keyboard to obtain a personal data. So, which one is correct about the cyber attacks? answer is to b only second statement is correct why only second i have a reason for you guys spyware prevents access to website no spyware will be used by the hacker to spy on you what you are doing they they will see or they will spy on you suppose somebody is spying on uh, me means uh, they will insert a spy like a camera secret camera or else uh, some coding they will do what activity we are doing See what I, what, which app we are opening, which if you are visiting to any banks or anything in our mobile, they'll check those activities. They can able to see. It is not preventing access to website. Okay, that is why this statement is wrong. And denial of service captures all data. No, it will not captures all data. Rather, spyware will captures to all data. Denial of service will prevent the access. Means it will not give access to use that website. So A is linked to C, C is linked to A. This A and C are ultra matching, opposite to each other. Spyware definition is given in C, DOS definition is given in A. But virus is a self-replicating like a worm. Worm. Okay, write once, read many. Worm. So these are ultra. That is why only B statement is correct. A and C are wrong. how can you give argument in four of vegetarianism when you eat meat which fallacy is committed in this argument red herring appeal to emotion ad hominem hasty generalization are you are yourself eating a meat then you are talking about a vegetarianism are you eligible to are you eligible to talk about it first so what type of fallacy Yes, 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 yes. All are saying ad hominem. Okay, let's see one one side what is there. Yes, if you all are saying one side, then I cannot deny that ad hominem. It is against the man. What you have done, you forgot, and you are trying to do something. It is against the man. This type of fallacy is sometimes called as an 
personal attack personal attack and it occurs when someone attacks the person or on their appearance or on their characteristics here also same thing is happening are right, you yourself is a non vegetarian then you are coming and talking about the vegetarian so that's your correct and still you are into this argument that is ad hominem against or attacking the person targeting the person super appeal to emotion is a new one here it relies on evoking a strong feelings rather than logical argument strong feelings rather than logical argument suppose you are more interested in expressing feelings suppose if you are talking about the point they'll cry other person because so that emotionally they can break down you when when they they break down you will not talk anything ulta because as already they are crying this is emotional black when usually the girls uh, weapon it is right so commercial example is that commercial showing heartwarming scenes of families reuniting uh, during the holidays to sell the product so they are showing the advertisement to sell their product now they are showing the joint families then every family think that hey, all the families are meeting we should also buy this product to meet together so that is simply a personal emotion emotion based on emotion appeal to pity is different emotion is different pity is somehow showing you by showing your sympathy you are gaining it but appeal to emotion by expressing your feelings you are being under uh, another strap which are the following are the types of implicit memory implicit memory semantic memory procedural memory priming episodic memory classical conditioning effects implicit implicit and episodic two types of memory explicit and implicit two categories of memory this question has been asked in 2022 december also guys in december also same question was there answer is that c c is the correct answer that is procedural priming and episodic sorry not episodic classical conditioning effects b c e implicit means internal look at let's try to understand procedural memory is the automatic recalling of the skills automatically as part of the process only without any efforts it will come see the moment i ask you how many papers are there in ugc net exam you will simply without even next thought you will say two papers two papers are there and priming is that earlier exposure to input influences on responses to related stimuli without conscious awareness whatever the previous influences are that will be keep on working on you without even next thought automatically your mind will tell you this is the correct answer that is priming classical conditioning memory associating a stimulus to trigger automatic responses without conscious so automatic responses without any conscious effort is called as in conditioning because conditioning is habituating something habituating something next semantic memory episodic memory semantic memory means this is a type of explicit and uh, episodic also explicit it involves you need to recall the general knowledge and general facts that is semantic and here you need to recall the personal experiences that is episodic when you have to remember your personal experiences then episodic memory explicit memory only this is also and when you have to remember your general knowledge that will comes under the semantic memory semantic memory which will be explicit memory only so explicitly are these two types are explicit memory fine next question which of the following are the ways to increase the motivational climate in the class
Roshan, you can uh, reach out to me via WhatsApp. WhatsApp number is on the top. You can see. Or in the description also it is available. Guys, do hit a like button, guys. If you like it. If you don't like this session, kindly hit a dislike button. And you can unsubscribe us. But if you like it, do not forget to hit a like, subscribe and share with your friends also. Increase the motivational climate in the class. Use a variety of instructional strategies to maintain a student interest. Give a student opportunity to share their experience and learning with each other. Allow the sarcasm. Wow. Finally, NTA has recognized our word and our special skill also in the question paper. Thanks, NTA. Finally, you recognized our expert skill in this. Allow the sarcasm and superiority to exhibit in classroom. Whether it is correct answer or wrong answer in that C is there or not, I am not interested. But they use the sarcasm word. I will check it out, Roshan. Before the 12th October, everything will get sorted. Course, course will start on 12th October evening only. No? So do not worry about it. By that time, everything will get added. So answer for this question is that 3. A, B, D, R, A, R, except a C, A, B, D are correct answer. Because that they are asking about motivation. How sarcasm can be a motivation? Right? Use a variety of instructional strategies to maintain a student interest. The ways to increase the motivational climate in the class is that variety of instructional strategies to maintain a student interest. So you need to develop the interest for that. You need to do PPT, chart wise presentation, video, audio, many things you can do. And give the students opportunities to share their experience and learning with. Yes, sharing experiences, group discussion, participation and classroom atmosphere is based on the trust and cooperation. It should be a trust and it should be a cooperative man. It should not allow the sarcasm and superiority. We have a sarcasm but not superiority exhibit in the classroom. We have a so much of cooperativism rather than superiorism. According to class, NTA also watching our class. According to Indian School of Logical, which fallacy is committed in the following statement? Fire is eternal because it's produced produce option one is the correct answer. It's a Viruddha. How Viruddha? I'll tell you. Look at. Viruddha it is. Viruddha is a contradictory middle term, sir. Contradictory. Look at the example. Same example every time they are giving. Sound is eternal because it is produced. Here, produced is a middle term. That middle term does not prove the eternality. Eternality means every time it is present, existing forever. Whether you produce or don't produce, it will be there. No, they are saying clearly whenever it is produced, if I do the sound like this, it is coming. When I am not doing any sound, how it will come? So, when I am not doing a sound, it is non eternal. Na? When I am doing the sound, it is eternal. In the same way, here when it is produced, when it is produced, the fire is coming. When I am not producing the fire, when I am not producing the fire, fire is not coming. So it is obviously this produced which is a middle term is absolute in contradiction with a major term. This is a major term. Produce does not prove the eternality. Produce will prove the non-eternality generally. Yes, yes, yes. 
from our nodes. Next, integrated solid waste management, integrated solid waste management approach. Intended help or guidance or decisions about the generation of waste, recycling of material, ultimate disposal of waste residues. Process reduction is not the part of integrated solid waste management. See, we may not understand the question, but you can understand the intent easily, the meaning, literal overall meaning you can understand. They are asking about solid waste management. So, there is a one approach is there regarding the approach, the definition is given. Is it correct or not? With a layman thought process, you think and finally conclude the answer. So answer is that three yes you people are correct because how you recognize you know in your mind your thought process is running about this not correct no? based on the not only almost 90 percent in the chart people are recognized that this is a wrong statement because when clearly it is saying sources reduction is not part of the integrated uh, solid waste management when it is not part how the waste will come from where the waste is coming you need to include in the mission you need to stop that source first that should be included in the management. If that source is not being included in the management, then how? So, it is source reduction. It should be a part of integrated SWM, but it should not is given, which is not correct. So, this is correct and this is wrong statement. Ah, it is a damakarab question. Look at In which MS Excel formula are equivalent to each other? A equal to A3 plus A4 plus A5 plus A6. Here on the A, B, C, D, E, like this it will be there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it will be there. So here A3 means this one. A4, A5, A6, sum of all, A3 and A6, A3 and A6, A3 is to A6, or A3 is to A3 comma A6, or A3 comma A4 comma A5 comma A6, which one will be equal? Clear, clear, all clear, no video stack, no uh, all clear. No problem from my end. So, answer is that option number 2. How it is to know? A is correct, B is correct, D is correct. This A3, A6 is not correct. It should include comma of all. A3, A4, A5, A6. But it is comma only 2 are mentioned, which is wrong. Absolutely not any. A3 is to A6 include, it includes... A3, A4, A5 also it is included. So, that is why all these three will give you same meaning. In films, the element of silence is identified as RL syn uh, syntagma, RL paradigm, RL position, RL resistant. Elements of silence in films. Uh, some are watching without doing a like or dislike button. Pop lagega bhaiya, pop. There is a black mark on my tongue. Elements of silence is identified as. So, answer is that option 2. How it is? What do you mean by paradigm? Paradigm is a word which indicates a framework or which indicates 
generally the arrangement or interaction of sound elements to convey the meaning which will enhance the storytelling it's a process simply or a process okay so oral paradigm is a arrangement or interaction of sound elements next identify the measures of central tendency paper to people ha ah, first central tendency measures this is a part of unit 2 research aptitude sir they asked they asked from the research aptitude option 2 a b d arithmetic mean median and d mode arithmetic mean median and the mode a b d a m median and the mode are comes under the central tendency range and uh, decile these are part of the uh, coefficient of range coefficient of quartile deviation these are then a relative dispersion and uh, normal also the reference section of a uh, research article reference section will be there now where the bibliography will be written so is written in the apa style arrange the information pertaining to the reference in correct order a uh, apa style format they are asking sir apa style format they are asking quickly page number year of publication name of the author title of the article don't jump the gun just because uh, name is available name will come first or title is available title will come first like that as per the apa style and mla style i have explained the four style total i explained how the apa will be there how the ieee will be there how the chicago and how the mla style four styles paper to education is not there but i am trying my best to uh, line with our other educators also option 4 is a correct answer that is c first author later year of publication later title after that page number will come you can see name first author name last name and first name year of publication in bracket in bracket author first name and last name year of publication later title and after the title uh, that page number and after the page number it will come so in, before the page number even publishing house also will come this is publishing house next 49 ten equal to 3116 equal to 0011001 Fixed to 7b and 0 triple one one zero double one equal to one two three the fixed ten. This requires so much of uh, calculation. But do you think that so much is required for you? Here decimal converted. Here decimal sir. Decimal converted into hexadecimal sir, which is converted ultimately into binary. okay first you can convert the decimal i believe where 49 2 2 are 4 and 2 uh, 4 are 8 which is equal to one remainder 2 12 are zero remainder 2 6 are zero remainder 2 3 are zero remainder and 2 1 are two uh one will be the remainder so double one triple zero one we need to write from the bottom to top now double one triple zero one Double one triple zero one. Here double one triple zero one is there. 
okay that is decimal anyways and when you are uh, making them into an hexadecimal hexadecimal actually we need to break down into four four parts so one triple zero four part and here double one is there to get four digits we need to add the two zeros okay we need to add the two zeros so double zero double one double zero uh, triple zero one which is correct this two zeros got added because when you are converting in the hexadecimal you need to break down into four four parts four four parts that's why Here yeah, 16 power uh, 31 is there, na? 31 is there. 16 power 0 into 3, sorry, 1 plus 16 power 1 into 3. 16 threes are. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, 1. Correct only. 49 is coming, sir. How? Because 16, when we are converting into uh, decimal, na? 16 power 0 into first one, first digit. That is 16 power 0 equal to 1. 1 into 1, 1 only. And 16 power 1 into 3, second digit, which is equal to 48. 48 plus 1, 49. So, 49 decimal is also correct. So, statement 1 is proved, which is correct only. Now, the statement 2, how to do it? Convert this 123. Whether 123 will come or not. 2, 6, 12, 2, 1, 2. 1 will be the reminder. And here, 2 30s are 60, 1 will be the reminder. 2 15s are 30, 0 will be the reminder. 2 7s are 14, 1 will be the reminder. 2 3s are 6, 0, uh, 1 will be the reminder. And 2 2s are, 2 2s are, sorry, 2 1s are, 2. 2 1s are, 2 are, 2 1s are 2, 1 will be the reminder. So, triple 1, 0, double 1, bottom to top. Triple 1, 0, double 1. Triple one, zero, zero, double one, four ones. Yes, it is. Four ones are there, zero, double one. Is it correct? Absolutely. Because, and here, seven B is there. B is equal to how much in hexadecimal, sir? B is equal to how much in hexadecimal? So, your answer comes is one only. Both are correct statement. Why? Because I am doing a reverse verification. I have done from the 49 to binary and binary to, uh, sorry, hexadecimal to binary also same. Answer is same. 11 na, so 7 and 11 will come. 7 do it separately, 11 do it separately. It will come almost 1011 and 0 triple 1 only will come. So, it will be same. Find the number that can replace the question mark. Find that particular number which can replace the question mark. Here is a question mark. Option 2, 152.5, 152.5, how it is, let us try to look at. Yes, 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 Shashikala, super, you are correct. 
5.5 into 2, 11. And here 11 to 18.5, how much is the difference? Six point five. Six point five. Acha full moon. Nice, nice. So is there any logic is working out like that? Here, sorry, seven point five. Uh, it is difference, not six point five. So 5.5, 11, 5.5 plus 1, uh, plus 5.5 means double. Now 7.5, 11.5 means plus 2 is increasing. 5.5 plus 2, 7.5 plus 4, 11.5 plus 8, 19.5 plus 16, 35.5 plus 32, 16 double will be 32. So both put together will be 67.5, 85 plus 67.5 will give you 152.5. I will explain again. Sir, first 5.5. Second is 11. Difference between this is that 5.5. The difference of 11 and 18.5 is increased by 2. The difference between 18.5 and 30 increased by 4. Means the difference is getting doubled. It is 12. Now it is 4 got added. Now it is 8 got added. The difference is getting multiplied by the difference only. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 8, 16 to the 32, like that it is going. So ultimately 85 plus uh, 67.5 will be 152.5. Igno, Indira Gandhi National Open University was set up by the Act of Parliament in 1965. Igno adopted the strategy of using integrated multimedia instruction through Gyan Darshan. Gyan Darshan. Gyan uh, Darshan, sorry, Gyan Darshan, uh, I got another in mind. Swayam Prabha, most important update is there related to Swayam Prabha. A new initiative was given by the Ministry of HRD. So, option 4 is the correct answer. IGNO was set up by the Act of Parliament in 1965. IGNO adopted a strategy using integrated multimedia using Gyan Darshan. Actually, the first one is wrong because IGNO was set up in 1985, not 65. It is wrong. It is 1985. Okay. And here, IGNO adopted a strategy using Gyan Darshan, Gyan Vani, Gyan Darshan, Gyan Dhara and uh, E Gyan Kosh, Gyan Darshan, Gyan Vani, Gyan Dhara, E Gyan Kosh, all these four are typically the digital initiatives of IGNO only, purely IGNO digital initiative, yes, yes, it is renamed as Ministry of Education, correct, it is 1985 my dear, not 65, that's why statement one wrong. Question of this session, acute health effects. This is a previous year question, copy pasted. Acute health effects caused due to prolonged exposure to a chemical. Chronic health effects occurs when individual exposed to very short period. Alright, this itself is giving an answer.
So both the statements are false statement. Why, sir? Both the statements are false. Why so? Why both are false? Are both are wrong, madam. Very, very, very technically they played a game. Actually, here very long period should be there because chronic means a dangerous one. Dangerous one. Chronic means. It is a major health impact, chronic means. It will come only when the long exposure is there. Acute is not long, very short it is. Ulta they given, very short. And it is minor, acute means minor. Chronic means major. Acute means small health impact, like a fever, cough, those are acute. Chronic means malaria, dengue, and uh, cancer. All these are chronic health impacts. Ulta, Ulta they given. Same copy pasted question from the 2021. You can go and check the 21 chips. Okay. Hello. Tomorrow we will continue with the remaining questions and we will complete the question paper. Thank you. Bye, Bal. Till tomorrow. And subscribe to this channel. You can join in my Telegram, other social media platforms. We will get all the updates related to UG Senate exam. The most important video is going to come. That is UGC Net NTA December application. Major changes were made. Don't apply till tomorrow. I will tell you the major changes which is going to be there. Thank you. Bye bye to all. Have a great day.